Welcome back to another video with Yarn as a Second Language. I am Princeton, and guess what? Today, it finally arrived in the mail. We got the package, and I'm excited to open it with you all. Um, if you don't know, I had recently ordered some Tunisian crochet hooks. I've ordered a whole set, and today we're gonna open them, and I'm gonna give you my opinion about them, and I am going to begin my journey to learning how to do Tunisian crochet. So if you're interested, Stick around, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so here we go. Got it. And rip it. All right. Oops, stuck to the inside, that'll be all right. First impression of the wrapping, well, there isn't any really. So packaging, eh, mediocre, but you know, don't really buy it for the packaging. So this is by, oh boy, Zoyu Crochet Hooks. Um, I will put that on the screen in case I'm pronouncing it wrong because I'm pretty sure I am. And they are uh, aluminum, as you can see. I ordered them off Amazon. They were like $8. They weren't that expensive. And matter of fact, to show you guys, I'm gonna switch camera angles, okay? So just one second. All right, so this hopefully is a little bit better for you all to see. We got the hooks. Let's go ahead and pull these out of the bag. So you can see, we got quite a few of them. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven hooks all together. And at the end here, you can see that the sizes are clearly and easily marked to see. And first impression, uh, they feel like aluminum crochet hooks. I mean, honestly, nothing spectacular uh yeah they're just good old aluminum crochet hooks that are long aka tunisian crochet hooks they feel good they feel like uh most aluminum crochet hooks um they were only eight dollars i'm not gonna say that's uh i'm not gonna say they're cheap they were certainly inexpensive but i don't think they feel or look cheap um, so why don't I go ahead and grab some yarn and let's see you know just a little bit of what I've learned so far all right so I grabbed just a, a Karen one pound thing of yarn um, it's it's right here on the floor and let's see I'm gonna go ahead and use a five and a half millimeter size hook and then I'll move the rest of them out of the way all right so I know I need to make my slip knot all righty wow it feels weird grabbing such a long hook and <clears throat> excuse me again I'm sorry about that I'm still kind of under recovery <clears throat> So let's go ahead and just make our foundation. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I think that's good enough. Uh, Gosh, it's kind of hard to see that, isn't it? Let's see, maybe not. Maybe I turn it this way. All right. Like that. Okay, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So. I asked you guys, you know, give me some suggestions on who to watch on YouTube to help me kind of learn this. And overwhelmingly, it was 
um, Tony from, I think it's TL Yarncraft, I believe is her channel. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description uh, with a link to the video that I've been watching over and over and over again. <clears throat> um, excuse me again, sorry. And you guys were absolutely right. Her video is phenomenal. Um, it was perfect for beginners, which I definitely am. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot. This is the actual, this is actually the first time that I've tried this. Let me tell you something. It's weird having this long hook. I mean, it's just, it's just different. Um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. I'm trying to concentrate, but I don't want to leave you guys in silence either. Um, I enjoyed the video. I look forward to learning more from her. Um, believe it or not, when Nikki and I first started off making um, videos for this channel, I had reached out to her because um, I had watched her in the past and I've always enjoyed her videos. And I just told her that she was an inspiration to um, us. And a reason why we started our own channel was because, you know, we saw her journey and uh, it was inspiring. So uh, I actually reached out to her and she was kind enough to respond and uh, give us words of encouragement. So it was really cool that she did that. She took time out of her bidet to do that. And now here we are. I'm watching her and she's teaching me and, you know, throwing it on our channel. So. All right, so I believe, I see, I did 15. I should have 15 thing loops on my hooks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I do have 15, so I think I did something right. So if I remember correctly, the first one, I just hooked through the first loop. And then after here, I go through two loops until I get to the end and I think I may have gone a little too tight I'm definitely gonna have to work on my tension I did not plan on doing this <laughs> for this video I really just wanted to show you hey the package is in and then I was gonna practice off camera but you know what? This is about as real as it gets because you guys saw me open the package. So I obviously have not had any time to practice. But I think I'm getting the hang of it already. And I don't really even know the terminology. So I know she said something about a pass through and all that. I don't know exactly. I need to make notes. Well, that looks... I think that looks right. Cool. So I'll do one more, I guess. I'll go down and back one more. <clears throat> so I believe I had to go through these chains here. I am definitely going to go back and actually work. On, I'm going to practice while watching that video. I'm kind of just going off of memory right now. And it's been a few days since I watched a video. So please do not look at me and think that I know what I'm doing and take this as a tutorial. This is Princeton learning, not teaching. <laughs> uh, but I feel like it looks the way it's supposed to look. So I have an idea that I'm doing this right trying to be a little bit more careful with my tension this time around also let's see uh, I think this one's next and huh not really sure where this last one goes I would assume it goes under both of those Okay. 
then go through one, and then we'll go through two all the way down. Yeah. I think I'm getting it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we're back. I am concentrating so hard. <laughs> One more. Ugh. I think that's right. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. And I know it's hard to see because the yarn is so bright oh, there. I don't feel like that's right, but you know what? I'm going to go back and practice. So this, ladies and gentlemen, here, let me switch angles again. All right. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is what I got. I wish the packaging was a little bit better, but for $8, I can't complain. Uh, first impression, I'm just making this. Uh, probably terrible and wrong little swatch that I made. Uh, they're just fine. Eight dollars, you get this many hooks. Why not? Uh, they feel just like regular aluminum hooks. Uh, they do have a little bit of leftover glue uh, on the tops here, like underneath. But I mean, it's not that bad, especially for eight dollars. Uh, it's definitely not the best quality stuff. I mean, these plastic tips. They're a little warped. They've got a little discoloration on them. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of glue on some of them. But overall, these will work just fine. Um, I don't see any problems. Um, I'm going to definitely work on this. I have not practiced, like I said. I just kind of just jumped in there. I got in the groove and everything. So you guys got to see me fumble around with this little thing. Um, but I'm going to practice. And the next time we do a video like this, I think I'll be decent at it. So I definitely got to work on my tension. Um, I see why you guys say to use a hook um, a little bit bigger than I usually would. For a, a normal crochet size hook, I would probably still use a five, maybe a five and a half, depending on the project. So I probably definitely need to have gone up on the hook size. I use a five and a half to make this. <clears throat> um, I probably need to do a six and a half, probably. There's Rue. Rue. Come here, girl. People want to see you. Come here, girl. Oh, here's Miss Ruru. Maybe she'll help me out with this. So here, you want to hold this in your mouth? No? All right. So thank you all for uh, clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to getting better at this. And I look forward to you guys joining me on this journey. And we will see you all at the next video. Bye. Say bye, Miss Rue. See you guys.